Welcome to our Tips and Tricks series from Remark Support. This training covers how to make Remark Web Survey questions in a question table required. This demonstration was recorded using Remark Web Survey 5. We've gotten questions from Remark Web Survey users on how to make questions in a question table required. I'd like to show you the quickest and easiest way to accomplish this. You may already know that in Remark Web Survey, you can create required questions. If respondents do not answer the question, when they submit the page, they receive a required question missing error message. When setting up required questions, you access the question's properties and then attributes and check a box for mark question as required. But let's see how to do this actually in a table. And so to do this, we're going to go to our desktop where we have a little survey on ice cream preferences already set up here. We call the left side of the browser the tree view list. And it's a list of web form elements that you can expand or contract. Watch as I open this list view to expose the question elements, which in this case are the ice cream flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, maple walnut, cookies and cream, and mocha chip. Now that I've exposed these, I'm going to hold down the control key while I select each of the flavors. So I'll start with mocha chip, cookies and cream, maple walnut, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. And while I have those all selected and still holding down the control key, I'm going to right click so I can see this menu and I'll choose properties. Now the nice thing is that is actually opening properties for all of those question elements at once. I'm going to click the link for attributes next and then I'm able to put a check mark in the box for a mark question as required. And I'll click OK. Watch what happens in the tree view list. The software verifies the new required status of the question elements by making the text in the tree view list red. We've covered how to make questions in a question table required. And what you saw was we fully opened the tree view list, we selected our question elements, accessed question properties for all of them, and then attributes, and checked the box for re making the question required. We then confirmed the question's required status by verifying the question text in the tree view list had turned red. We hope this has been useful to you. Should you need further assistance, our contact information is on the screen. If there's any topic you'd like covered in our Tips and Tricks series, please submit your ideas to www.gravic.com slash remark slash support slash suggestions.html. Thank you.